or creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable are there. Living things, both great and small. There go the ships. And Leviathan, that you form to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. Wow. Last week, um, NASA scientists said goodbye to the little spacecraft that could. Cassini. Cassini was launched back in October of 1997 and began what was to be a seven-year journey through our solar system, uh, making a, a slingshot orbit around Venus that propelled it into deep space and through our solar system to take close-up photos of Jupiter and Saturn. Now, it arrived at Saturn by mid-2013 and has spent the last four years taking stunning, just stunning photos of this planet Saturn and her moons. And yes, these really are photos. These are not computer-drawn illustrations. And, and speaking of Saturn's moons, there are several orbiting around the planet, including a round one, this one here, where a little Keep up, where's this round one, and this potato-looking one, um, and, and particularly one called Titan, that has ice and evidence of microorganisms. That's life. Did you hear about this? One of the moons of Saturn has not only ice, but microorganisms, life. Wow. All you can do when you see these images is say, wow. Cassini was low on fuel and rather risk having it crash on one of her moons, which might have an ecosystem of its own, scientists put Cassini into a nosedive over Saturn's atmosphere where it would burn up in a blaze of glory last week. Wow. So I couldn't help but think about Cassini as I was reading through Lamont's last chapter of this little book, book the, the Three Essential Prayers, and I began to look through all of these images again. Listen to what Lamont writes. When we are stunned into a place beyond words, when an aspect of life takes away from being able to chip away at something until it's down to a manageable size so that we can file it away nicely, when all we can say in response is, wow, that's a prayer. Wows come in all kinds of shapes and sizes according to Lamont. It turns out that there are some lowercase wows, the times when we sink into something modest that delivers um, above and beyond. You know, for Lamont, a lowercase wow is clean sheets after a hard day, right? You know, when, you can, when you can slip into clean sheets, she says it feels safe like a sandwich. Wow, that's a little wow. You know, for me, a little wow, a lowercase wow, for me, food, you know, <laughs> a really good meal, uh, those, those times when the perfect bite somehow drills through to your taste buds and, and causes a sensation that you hadn't had the other 340 times that you'd had the very same meal. This time, wow, wow. A lowercase wow might be seeing a kid execute a perfect dive at the local swimming pool, or coming upon a blanket of flowers in a field that had been destroyed by a grass fire last summer, or going out and tagging monarch butterflies late in the summer, early in the fall. Wow. There's the lowercase wows, but then there are the uppercase wows, Lamont says. Wows like Yosemite, or watching puppies being born in a neighbor's house, right? When you were six, 
or, 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 or being five or six years of age and trying to comprehend the sheer size of a brontosaurus or trying to understand how it is that the earth was covered with all of these dinosaurs and like that they just ceased to be. Do you remember wow? The big wows of life. My own, my own big wows were witnessing the birth of my daughters. I remember my first, Sydney, entering into the world. I remember she came out all, all blue and rubbery and shiny and, and covered with this clotted white stuff that looked like cottage cheese all over her skin. Some of you are saying that's enough, too much information. <laughs> I remember that. And I remember I remember the 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 doctor handing the child to the nurse, the nurse then placing uh, my baby daughter on my wife's draped abdomen. And then the nurse began to suction her and, and get all of that goop out of her airway. And I remember she she began to take her first breath and then to cry. I remember this, this little blue rubbery thing turning pink. And the pink spread first across her chest and through her trunk. And then it spread, it spread like a dawn and went through her legs and her arms and then to her feet and her hands. Oh, finally to her fingers toes and I, I still I can vividly remember that moment thinking oh my god wow wow you know you can say either my god wow Lamont writes about her six year old child coming to tell her that he finally came to realize why it is that we call God, God. He said, it's because when you see something that's really, really great, all you can say is, God. <laughs> wow. What, uh, what are your wows? As I tell my story of my daughter's birth, it occurs to me, my my big wow moments, my big wow prayers, they're not yours. Some of you no doubt have witnessed the miracle birth of, of, of your own children and that's, that's your wow, it's not mine. Maybe your wow is something altogether, something different. You know, the moments that, that cause your, your heart to skip and your jaw to drop open and, and your eyes to widen. What? What are the wow moments of your life? What have been your wow prayers? Those moments that, that take your breath away to make room for some new breath. I mean, that's why we call such things breathtaking, right? Huh? The year, spring is a main reason for wow, she says. Spring, spring is crazy being all hope and beauty and glory and the resurrection the world changed and made new with the grandeur of God buds opening and releasing mud cutting winds, bright green grass blue skies, nests full of baby birds all these, she says all these are deserving of wow wow but then she writes autumn ain't too shabby for a while either Colors are broccoli, flame, and fox fur. And the tang is apples and death, and wood smoke. And the rock smells faintly of elements being changed alchemically into another. And the air is moist and you sleep under two down comforters in a cold room. Wow. Perhaps you've begun to daydream a little bit your own sermon by now. 
that's okay. Thinking, thinking of the moments when you've known God intimately, when you've seen through the veil of God's mystery, if even just for a moment, go ahead and let, let your minds wander. Go interiorly and, and remember those wow moments of your own life, the wow prayers that you have prayed. And if you're having trouble, if you're having trouble remembering or allowing yourself to encounter again those moments, it's, it's okay, Lamont says, to use the tools, the tools of wow, things like music, and art, and poetry, the language of wow. Lamont says that she discovers wow not only in God's giving through nature, but as God gives again through the artist, through the author, through the musician. What can we say beyond wow in the presence of glorious art? A music so magnificent that it can't have originated solely on this side of things, she says. In art, we feel the breath of the invisible. In museums, we behold framed greatness. We see genius embracing passion and obsession and discipline and possibly madness and our mouths drop open. And we glimpse life, beauty, grief or evil, love captured, truth held up to light. We see art in a moment, in time, in an instance, and it is holy, she says. Wow. Gorgeous, amazing things can come into our lives when we are paying attention. Lamont says, much is given to us. Unto us much is given, but we have to be open for business. See, that's the key, isn't it? To be open for business. I, I, I don't know how many people never noticed, never saw those stunning images of Saturn back when they first were published, perhaps because we were so busy looking elsewhere. We've been consumed with something else. Or, or perhaps we were just incapable at that moment because we were caught up in some other situation. Perhaps we were calling out at that moment for help. But to not be open to the unexpected joy, the, the thrill, the slap jaw dumbstruck moments of life, to not, to not be open to those. Well, listen to what Lamont says about that. She says, if we stay where we are, where we're stuck, where we're comfortable, where we're safe, we will die there. We will become like mushrooms, living in the dark, poop up to our chins. <laughs> If you want to know only what you already know, you're dying. You're saying, leave me alone. I don't mind this little rat hole I'm in. It's warm, it's dry, really, it's fine. When nothing new can get in, that's death, she says. Here. Or in contrast, we can choose life and we can embrace what is new and the awesome and the wonder of the world as God has made it. We can, we can put ourselves out there so that whatever is out there has a chance of getting in here. Hmm? I want to say that again. We can, we can put ourselves out there so that whatever it is that is out there, that is new, that is, that is wonderful, can have a chance of getting inside of us, causing us to simply respond in the moment, wow. Wow. God is good. Be open.
And that's it. Three essential prayers. Help. Thanks. And 